welcome to the intro video of No Parallel Players, a new series I'm going to be starting on my channel. And we're just basically going to go over the rules and the original starting squad we're going to have. So, the rules with No Parallel Players are very simple. If someone on your team is paralleled, they can't be there. So I can't use Mike Piazza. I can't use Ali Rushman. I can't use Parallel for Vlad. I can't use Trout because or Buxton or any of these guys because they are paralleled. So once a person on our squad reaches parallel one, they have to be replaced by someone else who hasn't been paralleled at all. Now, the way this is going to work is we are going to play ranked seasons games and with the squad and say at the end of the game jimmy fox ends up going to parallel one then we have to find a brand new catcher to take his spot on the team so that's basically how it's going to work i think jimmy fox is actually going to be one of the first people to leave the squad we're likely going to have to be replacing starting pitchers per game because a lot of these guys are going to be gone very shortly but yeah, I mean, this is how the series is going to work. It's very simple. Once a card has been paralleled, then we can't use them anymore. And some of these guys are going to be on my main god squad. You got Jim Tomei, Tori Hunter, and Larry Doby on my bench. So when I parallel them for my god squad, they're still going to have to leave the team. And same goes for Roy Oswalt. If I pitch him again, but he's probably going to be pitching in the first game, or he, once he gets his parallel one, I can't use him anymore. Same with all of our lead pitchers. So pitching is going to be the big issue with this squad because if you get a solid outing out of these guys, they're gone. Like Roy Oswalt and Brandon Webb, they're probably only going to get one start each, even though Brandon Webb's going to start the first one. Pitching is going to be the real problem because once you have a good parallel start, and even on Hall of Fame, they're just going to be gone really quickly. So let's go to the team. We got Jimmy Fox behind the dish. We got Jim Tomei at first, Brandon Crawford at second. We got Jordan Groshans over there at shortstop. We got Edgar Martinez at third, Hank Aaron in left, Tony Hunter in center, and Larry Doby in right on the bench. We got Gary Sheffield, Johnny Bench, Johnny Damon, Jose Abreu, and Tony Gwynn. Uh, I'm probably my normal starting catcher is going to be Sam Huff this card uh, But due to the fact that Jimmy Fox is about to go parallel I don't want to waste him on the bench So we're just gonna start him until he gets the parallel one I'm not sure how long the series is gonna go, but let's take a look at everyone's PXP uh, We only need 150 more with Jimmy Fox. So um, I mean especially with the times that we're getting for the times 1.5 we're getting for playing ranked in the times that we're playing for on Hall of Fame. He's likely going to be gone if he has a solid game or maybe gets like a double or something. He's likely going to be off the team in very short games. Jim Tomei does luckily have some time. I only have 51 PXP with him. But say he gets a really good game, he could be gone. That's the thing with the series. They get really good games where they have two home runs and a bunch of RBIs. That means they're off the team sooner, which, I mean, I'd prefer everyone to just go one for four and drive in one run and win the game. So that's kind of how I like this series to go because that means we can have the players on the team for longer. Uh, we have Brandon Crawford at short. He has a good amount of PXP because I had to grind some offline moments with him. Uh, we got Jordan Groshans. He has a good amount of time left on the team, which is good because he's a solid shortstop. Middle infielders are hard to find. Edgar Martinez, he is about halfway to parallel one, so we do have a little bit of time left with him. Hank Aaron, about a little under halfway there, so we do have some time with him. Tory Hunter, obviously in the God Squad bench. He has some time. He has only 41 PXP, which I think is the lowest of any starter. And then we got Larry Doby, who has, never mind, Larry Doby has lowest 32 PXP. He will likely be in the starting lineup the longest unless we get someone new to replace him. So I think the way we're going to replace people is you can only replace them once we get to parallel one. So say a brand new, really good diamond second baseman comes out that I don't have paralleled. We can't use him until Brandon Crawford gets to parallel one. So that means that all these guys are going to be locked in the squad until we get to parallel one with them. So uh, Gary Sheffield has a lot, bunch of time. Bench has a bunch of time. Um, Damon has way too much time. Uh, Brady has a bunch of time. And so does Tony Gwynn. So in the starting rotation, I'm actually considering changing up the bench so that we got some guys that don't have a lot of time left before they hit parallel one just so I can like just be used them for a game and so, so on and so forth. Uh, we got Brandon Webb, who won a good start, and he's gone. We got Rory Oswald, who's going to be gone his next start unless he implodes. Uh, we got Shane McCallan. We got some time with him. We got some time with Josiah Gray as well. 
And we have a bunch of time with Sixto Sanchez in the bullpen. Dennis Eckersley. I uh, didn't mean to do that. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, we got plenty of time with Eck. Some time with Tapera, depending on how we do. Some time with Wainwright. Some time with Henke. Uh, Sean Doolittle is likely going to be the first bullpen. I'm gone, especially since he's a lefty. Uh, Wade Davis, Jose Lekrek, and Blake Snell. So here, that is the squad for no parallel players. Um, this series is probably going to come out once a week, maybe twice a week, seeing how uh, the upload schedule goes. It's going to be ranked seasons games, of course. And, you know, if there's any peop- guys you want to add to the squad once we parallel someone, please do let me know. Uh, anyway, if you think there's any fixes I can make to this team that you think I should, please let me know. I'm going to keep Sam Huff off the squad so I can maximize his time. That's the only personal preference and why he's not on the starting team. So, anyway, uh, I sure hope you guys do enjoy No Parallel Players. I think this is going to be a fun series, and it's an interesting take on a brand new mechanic that they added to this game this year. Anyway, I'm Yoy Gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Make sure to stay tuned for brand new No Parallel Player series videos. I don't even know what I'm saying. Whatever. Stay tuned for more videos on this series. I know you guys are going to love it.